Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jamie Graphics. Um, so I was donated a stream deck, an Elgato stream deck, which is like the ultimate tool for any streamer. Shout out to aziggy22 for the generous donation, my friend. Uh, all he asked was that I make a tutorial on how he can get his set up. So um, it's pretty basic, but there's so much to cover. So it's probably going to be a multi-video thing to uh, to really get in depth of this thing. I'm going to just go over what I have on mine and why I have it that way. I first started up with this bottom row, which pretty much has all my social networks that I, I actively use. With just a touch of a button, these things open up. So it opened up Twitch, then it'll open up, it'll open up YouTube and it'll open up Facebook. And I mean, it just so quick. Um, before I get to the Twitter button, I do want to bring up that um, you can make folders. And so now when I hit the Twitter button, it'll go to a different menu. And here we have two options. This option right here that I set up, just the little bird, I will open up the Twitter just like normal. All right, this one right here is awesome because you can set it up to actually tweet for you. So the reason I have that one first is so I can show you guys. So check it out. I'm gonna hit this button and it's gonna give us a check mark, but we're gonna see that it literally tweeted for us. So we'll refresh it here. There we go. Live on that fresh stream. I'm gonna delete now because I'm not streaming live, but you can literally have it say absolutely anything you want within, you know, the. Twitter uh, characters that it allows you um, but that is such a powerful tool when you change your game you can literally just hit a button that will tell every all your Twitter followers that you're switching the game to come check it out maybe you have some followers don't like one game you play I'm not gonna tell you how many times I have to be on my phone or alt tab to tweet that I'm playing a different game so this eliminates that hassle I also have two of my favorite programs uh, set up on here too. So we can do Photoshop, we can do uh, Premiere Pro, and it just opens up immediately. With that, there are actually tools that it does in those programs. So you can set hotkeys for Photoshop and hotkeys for Premiere. Um, I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, I do plan to set that up so much because I have a billion hotkeys for Photoshop and just as much for Premiere Pro. So I'm definitely gonna use the heck out of that feature. I just haven't gotten down to do it yet because I just got this thing uh, Friday night and it is Monday today. So I spent the last two days playing with it and then today making this quick little video. But for right now, I'm just doing a quick run through of how to get this started. I'm using OBS to record this right now and I don't wanna mess it up, but I have a button here that's labeled mic that literally mute. So like I said, you see my mouth moving, but you don't hear me talking, but now you do. Um, that's great because some headphones don't have that little button you can tap. Sometimes it's hard to navigate where that button is if you do have it, so it's real nice. You also don't want to swing your mic around all the time because then it just starts clinging and clanging on everything. So it's nice to have that little feature just mute on the click of a button. Um, I also have my scene switcher on, so I can just switch between scenes. with literally the click of a button. So I'm gonna go back. So this one's a little hard to, uh, to really show you without like actually streaming live. So the way I have my OBS set up and the way you can set up your OBS too, is these, I have these buttons for the main games that I play. I play Pokemon trading card game, Minecraft, League of Legends, Destiny 2, and PUBG. You ever like play a game and then in the middle of it, you change it to a different game and then you have all these people popping into your stream all of a sudden saying, hey, this isn't Destiny or hey, you're not playing League of Legends. And like it's the funniest thing in the world to say that or something like that. Yeah, well this eliminates that hassle entirely. Just by hitting this button, if I'm playing PUBG, I'll hit this and it'll literally change my game it'll change my game and my title with just the click of a button so let's say i'm done playing PUBG, i hit destiny and i want to play destiny it'll change 
my title to say I'm playing Destiny and it'll change my game to Destiny. If you switch a game, you don't have to alt tab and spend that two seconds or five five minutes of of just like, you know, sputtering around trying to get everything done properly. This eliminates that. It does it in seconds. It'll just change your PUBG game if you're not playing PUBG anymore. It'll switch it to Destiny if that's what you move to or any other game you decide to set up. It'll do it that way. And I think that is such a powerful tool. One of my favorite tools about this is um, is you can put your emotes. You can set up specific things to it's almost like timers, like setting up timers to just pop up, like saying, oh, don't forget to check it out on social media and all that stuff. For me, I personally use the chat feature to spam my emotes. Look at that. Look at that. How awesome is that? That is the coolest thing in the world to me. And like I said, it doesn't have to be your emotes. You can put to say, hey, how's it going? And you can just keep hitting that and it'll do it. I'll do it again. So I have it set up to just spam my emotes. And I freaking love that feature. Instead of having to go type it out or, or look for it and fumble, try and find it on here and all this stuff like that. Um, this just does it in seconds. Again, in the middle of the game, I do not have to alt tab. I can just hit the button and it'll set up that way. I have here all my games that I play again, PUBG, Pokemon, League, Minecraft, Destiny. Hitting any of these buttons will literally open up the game. Let's test that out. So I just hit, look at that. I hit Pokemon and Pokemon goes up. This thing is so cool. It, like I said, the biggest aspect that this thing offers is just professionalism. It, it, it does everything for you in seconds. You don't have to fumble around. Um, let's do it again. Minecraft. We'll hit the Minecraft button. There we go. The Minecraft launcher pops up. Like this thing is so, so responsive. So we have that again. We showed you Photoshop, Premiere, um, uh, my web browser. I have my web browser show up whenever I want to Google something immediately. So that completes phase one of the Agato Stream Deck uh, tutorial. Basically, all I can get around to today is just showing how, how I have mine set up. Um, for part two, I will be showing you how to do everything that I do, everything that I have on there, how I went about setting things up, how I have everything set in folders and stuff like that, and why I have it that way. Um, so be sure to tune in to part two.